January the 8th, 2024. Good morning, guys. I hope everyone's having a good day, making the best out of a lot of weather. Uh, right now at 8.20 a.m. Central, we're at 44 degrees, real feel 42, with uh, blue skies that have some clouds in it because we're coming into some very, very bad weather this afternoon and in through tonight. It's a very colorful map, and I think they just about ran out of things to list. Look at the uh, bottom of this in the color-coded areas. When you see across the southeast, all of that light tan, guys, are, are brown. You're looking at wind problems. Anytime, usually any time, it's regardless of what shade of brown, and you can see about three or four here on this map, There, it indicates wind problems. And that's what we're going to be dealing with in the southeast and that's going to be moving up the northeast coast across Florida. This afternoon starts it. Now, tomorrow's when we were going to see the rapid drop of the Arctic vortex into the U.S. the 9th. I think it was through the 16th in the video last night. But we're already seeing cold weather. You've got blizzard warnings here. You've, we're talking about southeastern Colorado here over into Kansas and here into Texas and the panhandle of Oklahoma and into New Mexico, north, northern and central Mexico. But, guys, this is kind of unusual. I've been to Phoenix in the winter and the summertime. We have family there, and our good friend, uh, Brother Martin, is there in the Phoenix area. And uh, you've got freeze warnings, hard freeze warnings. Notice right here, the freeze warnings, hard freeze warnings, and the color-coded. And, guys, that's... It, you're, you're very far south when you get to Phoenix. I know it gets cold there. I've been there in the winter, but that is brutal. And they're saying if you have underground um, water sprinkler systems, and I know in the Phoenix area there's tons of golf courses, but if you have them to drain them because they're going to freeze and bust, that's going to create quite a mess for the water systems in that area, the water departments and the cleanup crews and yourselves so make sure you take care of that anywhere you're in these hard freeze warnings uh, remember that now back to the blizzard conditions this is being set up to pull in the tornadoes and tornado watches and warnings that we're going to go through this evening you've got this system spinning we talked about it in the other video you've got warm air pulling up that's very moist out of the gulf of mexico notice the gale warnings Noticed in small craft warnings along the coast, all the way up the east coast. Notice very close to shore as you are dealing with uh, special weather statements and you're going to be dealing with high winds. The uh, pink areas, winter storm warnings, and uh, the, air, the purple areas out that, outside of that are winter storm watches. So you can kind of take your pick. Blizzards up into uh, Oregon and Washington. Winter storm watches and warnings throughout that. You've got uh, freeze watches. You've got frost and freeze uh, advisories, hard freeze watches, air quality alerts. Again, name it, and it's just about on this map, including hazardous seas. In Alaska and Hawaii, you both have wind warnings, gale warnings offshore. You've got uh, special marine warnings at the top of the Hawaiian Islands. Guys, I think this is blizzard warnings at the uh, northern sections of Alaska here. It's hard to tell the exact color. It's, it's in between a blizzard and a red flag, but I think these are blizzard warnings along the coast. Now, let's take a look at uh, current visible satellite images over the U.S. What you're dealing with, again, is this moisture being pulled in here, and it's going to build up, guys. That's why, it, even though this section is missing Mississippi, and much of Louisiana right now, this set of storms that's uh, really along from basically Mobile down into central Florida. But it's building up here. And this is where we're going to get our storms. It's caused, again, by wind. In this, set, uh, in this situation, it's very cold wind mixing with this very warm, moist air here. Guys, I'm afraid it's going to get dangerous before this thing clears up. And what you're looking at is the sun has risen on the eastern half of the nation, and the satellite switches over to visible images. On the west side, guys, you're, it's, the sun is not up enough, or the way this is calculated, and we're dealing with infrared images. But we're going to look at the storm sections of this. 
And this gives you a much clearer idea of what we're talking about. Again, from just in the Mobile Bay area, you may be kind of clearing now for all my friends down there in Fort Morgan, possibly. But um, the rest of the panhandle, you're under the gun. And as it gets warmer, the guff is going to heat up slightly, the moisture over it. And that's going to give this section right here that's coming out of Texas, very cold air, to mingle uh, with this moisture by this afternoon. Again, maybe seeing some small showers, and we, we're kind of in a declining phase of blue skies and clouds. Right now, the clouds are starting to intensify somewhat, but I don't see the moisture coming in yet. With Louisiana, you are starting to see it here. This is going to be a problem, the collision of these two systems. Now, it's still coming in for you guys up along British Columbia, Washington, and Oregon. This is going to put moisture, and that's going to mean snow in the mountains. You can see where it's very cold in these areas here. But again, the video last night, that deep plunge of cold air will not get kicked off until tomorrow. And then when you saw it peak was for a full week when it was drifting down into the south. Central Mississippi was seeing minus 17 as far as the difference in the normal temperatures, 17 below the normal, not minus 17 degrees, but very cold. Some places up uh, in the central part of the nation, guys, were seeing 40 below uh, the norms, and that's a 30-year average according to the information that's available. If you haven't seen the video from last night, check that out. It's a uh, it's kind of a stark warning of what we're about to go through. And I know it's winter. You don't have to say that, guys. But we're talking about 30-year norms, so it's important for me to, to talk about it. Now, this report that came out yesterday has been updated. Notice at 4.47 a.m. this morning. Robust thunderstorms to bring nocturnal tornado threat to the Gulf Coast in early week. Today is the beginning of this early week. As a powerhouse storm advances across the center of the nation early this week, AccuWeather meteorologists warn that robust thunderstorms can develop along the Gulf Coast from Monday to Tuesday. As the second week of January kicks off, a widespread and impactful storm will begin to take shape across the center of the nation. Although this powerhouse storm is expected to bring rounds of accumulating snow across the plains, we're seeing that this setup will contain another faucet to the south. AccuWeather meteorologists warn that the chilly northern flank of the storm will clash with the warmer moisture-filled southern flank early this week, sparking the risk for severe thunderstorms along the Gulf, uh, along the Gulf Coast states. The right ingredients will be present for tornadoes to spin up with the highest risk along the northeast Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi coastline. It will never can leave out uh, Florida and Alabama because of the way the storms will trail through that area. A piece of robust energy will bring disruptive thunderstorms that can produce damaging winds, hail, and tornadoes to the Gulf Coast states. An inflow of moisture along the Gulf of Mexico from eastern Texas and southern Louisiana will aid in the development of thunderstorms across this region. This is meteorologist Alexander uh, Duffus again from AccuWeather. Today, the storm center will advance from the south central states into the Mississippi Valley. Torrential downpours and damaging winds from the thunderstorms are expected to drench locations in Texas, from Dallas and Austin to parts of central and southern Mississippi during the daytime on Monday. Now, I was looking this morning, guys, at the current uh, drought map for the U.S., and uh, unlike it used to be several years ago, when really it wasn't that many years ago, Instead of the areas in the southwest, Mississippi, Louisiana, and parts of Arkansas and Alabama are still in a drought situation, especially north Mississippi. So moisture will be good. Tornadoes are not good. By Monday night, storms will begin to depart the Texas coast and continue to pulse across Louisiana. That's what you're seeing, the buildup behind the storm that's in the Gulf itself. They will continue to pulse again across Louisiana, Mississippi, portions of Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle. In addition to the threat of robust thunderstorms bringing flooding downpours and gusty wind, this setup and timing of the storms will be conducive for the development of nighttime tornadoes along the Gulf Coast Monday night tonight. 
nocturnal guys, you know that means you're not going to be able to see them at night, especially rain route, especially if you have high winds ahead of that that uh, take out power. You have no street lights or anything like that. So be- way before this happens, we're going to do it here. Start preparing. Where's the safest place in your home? Do you have extra water and things like that? Is your automobile's full of gas, um, candles, batteries, all of the above, and a little extra food? If the power goes down, you know a tornado in a small area can be as devastating as a Cat 5 hurricane. Everything's wiped out. It takes time to rebuild the infrastructure, even if it's just in one section. It says... Um, Tornadoes after dark pose an additional danger for residents since they can spin up when most people in the area are fast asleep and may not be aware of ongoing watches or warnings. Weather radios. Do you have one on your phone? If you don't have one, you know, the Midlands that you see everywhere that will set off an alarm when a tornado warning is in your area. Make sure you have all that. Those are life-saving things that may not seem that important, and, but they can be. They can get you up just in time to take shelter before the roof is torn off your home. It says, uh, there, again, people are fast asleep and may not be aware of ongoing watches and warnings. Additionally, tornadoes occurring under the veil of darkness can be difficult to see, even for those awake and aware of the danger in their region. Now, I've been caught in one. It was uh, early in the morning, springtime, and... Uh, sounded like a train coming very light rain it wasn't real heavy thunderstorms light rain and uh, the problem was there was no train track in that area but that's exactly what it seemed sounded like one rumbling very fast very rough and then we lost about 50 cypress trees where we were at at that time and uh, on top of the house it actually took the cabin and knocked it out of square on the base. It was up off the ground. And uh, there was that much suction. It pulled the insulation out. It was a lot of repair done. Fortunately, we were under the cabin. It was down on a creek that would rise up a couple of feet, would get up under it. We were eight feet off the ground. And uh, luckily, we were under that and semi-protected. But there was a lot of damage, and God had his hand over us. That's how we survived that. But again, if you're if you in the situation where you don't have your local weather on, you know how they'll stay up all night and show you the radar and things like that, then listen and pay attention to your surroundings. But be prepared today, not tonight. Now this is showing the greatest threat areas for flooding downpours, tornadoes, localized wind gusts, fifty five to sixty five miles per hour. With storm maxes at 70 miles per hour, you're approaching Category 1 gust speeds at that time. But from offshore, uh, coming offshore through southeastern Louisiana, all the way up to the uh, corner here, south of 55 into Mississippi, looping over Hattiesburg, guys, Laurel, coming back down into, I guess this would be close to Panama City, and that area is the greatest risk. But it extends much further. This way over to Houston is in the second part of it, and then the sum chances are much wider than that. Again, up through Jackson, Montgomery, and back down into the Florida Panhandle. This is through Monday and Monday night. But, guys, um, again, the best thing to do is to prepare now. If you live in a mobile home, but you have friends that have a more secure brick home or something like that i'm not saying anywhere is perfectly safe but you may want to talk to them and if you're good friends they may invite you over till these storms are through think about things like that that could save you and your family now guys up on the east coast take a look at this from this morning a good friend of our channel one who has dedicated the last year to helping us find bandit and uh, we appreciate her more than she knows I'm not going to mention her name until I have permission to do that. I did request it, but it's still early. She sent these in, and she said she's kind of tired of shoveling snow, but uh, this is the, I think she titled it, The Good Side of Winter. It, they are beautiful images, Miss P, and uh, thank you again. Somewhere on the East Coast, uh, I don't have permission to say her exact location, but 
she did mention that you can't even really see the borders between the different homes here. There's so much snow piled up. Just looks like a winterscape. But again, thank you, Pete. And uh, guys, there is a beautiful side to winter. It's all part of God's uh, creation. And the folks in Canada that haven't been getting the snow are really concerned about not having enough moisture in the ground for their crops next year. So there a, is a blessing in everything. These are beautiful. We're watching it, guys. Watch for the rough weather tonight. I will come on as soon as I can sit down when I see the tornado watches start popping up or anything else happening. But, again, it's a heads up, guys. Be safe.